Muslim and drunk on New Year's. If things are going a specific way right now in your life right now, it's because it's the plan of Allah. So instead of fighting it, submit to it. It's New Year's Eve, you go out. It's just how it is, right? You go out. You get a little saucy, you go out. You need to have foma, fear of meeting Allah. And if we had fear of meeting Allah, it wouldn't matter what other people do around us. We're going to do what's best for us, our deen, our dunya, our akhirah. Maybe you're using birthdays, events, joyous occasions to fill in the void and gaps and loneliness in your heart, the missing pieces in our heart. If you're watching these videos, you're already winning because you're ahead of me. That means you're winning. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to another video. Oh man, New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve and it's raining. Do you know how many people's plans are spoiled already? They're spo oh, it's raining. I got my hair done to ring in the new year. And this is the, this is the rain. We look at it as like, oh, spoiling my plans, rain. But rain is barakah. In Islam, rain is barakah. It's one of the best times to make du'as. So this entire video is going to be a du'a because it's raining while we're speaking. So let's make the intention, inshallah. If you're watching this right now, make the intention that you're going to learn something from this video. Make the intention that you're going to be a better person coming after this video. Make the intention to be the best version of yourself. Let's get into this video. What is it like being Muslim and drunk on New Year's? New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, call it what you want. This is an infamous picture that I post all the time. And I'm holding a bottle of rosé. Now if you don't know what rosé is, it's just alhamdulillah you don't know what rosé is. For those of you who don't know what rosé is, right? For those of you who do know what rosé is, it's like for Allah. How do you know about rosé? It's like for Allah. Like for Allah. May Allah increase us. Um... Rosé is a brand of a champagne company called uh, Moet Chandon. So Moet, Moise, you've probably heard of this before. Uh, maybe have, I don't know. I was big into hip-hop culture at that time. I, I think that's impacted how I look and how I am and how I carry myself. Uh, but, you know, it did play an impact on me. So Mo Moet, Rosé, these are all like big in the champagne, hip-hop. Anyways... So the goal was this. Here was the goal of me ringing in the new year. I think this was 2011. I was ringing in 2011. So this is 10 years. 10 years ago. Okay. Wow. 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Wow. Wow. Subhanallah. 10 years ago. Wow. It feels like it was yesterday. 10 years ago. This is where I was spiritually. This is where I was financially. It was all a cry for help. The way I looked, the way I spoke, everything about me was a cry for help. But guess what? No one recognized it. I didn't even know it was a cry for help. Now I could tell you. But I had no mentor. I had no guidance. I had no, 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 no. I, I don't want to say friend because I had a friend. He's the one who took care of me. And may Allah bless him. And we're going to talk about him later on. But I had no real source of mentorship, if that makes sense. You know, if you're watching these videos, you're already winning because you're ahead of me. That means you're winning. Does that make sense? I'm teaching you from my mistakes. So one, you don't make, make these mistakes and you don't have what they call FOMO, fear of missing out. But I thought about this off the camera. It should be called FOMA, fear of meeting Allah. That's what we should have, huh? Yo, if I coined that, remember you heard it first. We need to have FOMA, fear of meeting Allah. And if we had fear of meeting Allah, it wouldn't matter what other people do around us. We're going to do what's best for us, our deen, our dunya, our akhirah, right? Because we have FOMA, fear of meeting Allah. I'm going to coin it. I'm going to just start rocking with this. I'm going to just start saying it and making the thing. Everything was a cry for help, man. No one recognized it. No one recognized it at all. The, the, you're, you're watching this right now. You're already ahead of the game. Why? You're ahead of the curve. You're ahead of the curve. Because people learn at a gradual level. Right? If you're watching these videos, you're learning it at an exponential level. Because you're getting a glimpse into a lifestyle to why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it haram. First and foremost, it's haram because Allah has said so. You understand? 
Not because of all the, uh, you know, stuff for us. Subhanallah, my nose is now starting to leak. Allahu Akbar. Been out here too long, man. Been out here making these videos, grinding, grinding, working hard. I hope so. I hope so. I hope I'm working hard. I hope I'm not just all talk. Hope I'm not all just talk. You know what I mean? Everything that's happening in our lives right now is from the Qadr of Allah. It's Allah's plan. If things are going a specific way right now in your life right now, it's because it's the plan of Allah. So instead of fighting it, submit to it. Understand that this is how Allah wants it to be and it's not going to be any other way. So why fight it? Submit to that plan. That was good, right? MashaAllah. You heard it. I told you you're ahead of the curve. Right? And shout out to my Patreons out there. Shout out to my Patreons out there. I haven't been showing the Patreons enough love. And listen, if you're a Patreon, you're in the exclusive club already. Love you. Love you, Patreon members. Love you. Appreciate you. I love you too. Right? But Patreon has a special place in my heart. Because these 60 or so people are rocking with me. Whether they're donating a dollar or a hundred dollars. They're rocking with me. And I respect that. I love and respect that. I admire that. I appreciate that. It shows sincerity. It shows loyalty. Probably qualities that I don't even possess. I don't think I'm even worth the Patreon. You should probably un Patreon right now. That's what you should do. Wallahi. May Allah make us sincere. Anyways, getting back to the point. The whole thing was a cry for us. So let me tell you the inception of this, right? So I'm supposed to go out. It's New Year's Eve, you go out. It's just how it is, right? You go out. You get a little saucy, you go out. Now, you could decide to go out to multiple places, okay? You could decide to whether you want to go out to a club. Don't recommend that. Lines are too crazy. Pa places are too packed. And now with COVID, subhanAllah, look at how much less haram is happening. Haram is still going to go down, right? But less haram is happening because of COVID. Clubs are closed. One of the biggest haram places that you could ever go to. Bars are closed. One of the biggest haram places you could ever go to. The close, subhanAllah. There's no barakah in that. There's nothing. There's nothing. It's saving our communities. Wallahi. And to the Muslims who sell alcohol in their delis, fear Allah. You're ruining your community. Forget all the uh, seven people who the Messenger وسلم, cursed. Cursed. If the Messenger is cursing you, can you win? You're ruining your communities. You're in what type of community? Hispanic community, predominantly black community. You're selling them alcohol. You're letting them ruin their families. What happens when they drink those few beers that they bought from your deli owner and they go home and beat their wife? Do you not get a sin for that? They buy the beer from your deli Arab deli owner? And they go home and beat their wife. Do you not get a sin for that? It's coming to you. Throw out the alcohol right now. Throw it out. It's not worth the profit. There is no profit. You're doing it because you're afraid of missing profit. There is no profit in selling alcohol in your delis. Throw that shit out. You're ruining people's lives, their communities, families. You don't know what you're doing. That's not why Allah sent us over here. Allah sent us as bearers of good news. Enjoying the good, forbid the evil. That's why we're here. Be the best of neighbors, best of the community members. Why is it that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the Arab community, the Yemeni community, the Muslim community, the Delhi, uh, the Delhi ownership? You know how honorable that is? That you're synonymous with something that can feed people, help people, but not ruin people. You're better than that. You're better than that. Let's keep going. So you go to a club, but no COVID, so you're not going to go to a club. Okay. Go to maybe like a hookah lounge, hookah bar. Yes and no. Uh, cover fees are too high. They make you want to dress a specific way. That's why I never like clubs, because I like dressing however I want to dress. Swagged out. You know I'd be going out all swaggy. You know I'd be, I'd be doing that. Going out there, what, for what? Get attention from people? To show people I'm doing so well? Wallahi, it was all a cry for help. It's always been a cry for help. I'm just realizing it now. Ten years, it took me ten years to realize that I was crying for help. SubhanAllah. And it just took you nine minutes right now, or approaching ten, to figure out that maybe you're crying for help too. Maybe you're using birthdays, events, joyous occasions to fill in the void and gaps 
and loneliness in your heart, the missing pieces in our heart. Maybe you even watch these videos to fill up those missing pieces in your heart, to distract you from your realities. Maybe you do. But don't use these things as medicine. Deal with your problems head on. Tackle your problems. Don't hide behind them. Don't, don't, don't use these things as bandages. My videos are not bandages. My, my content's not bandages. This is not entertainment. You might be getting entertained in the process because you know how it is. You know what I mean? It's just what it is. It's just my personality. Alhamdulillah. Which, can you believe people want me to change? Can you believe that? That's cute. You move too much. Your hands are too much. God damn. You just can't be yourself. It's like I got to be who you want me to be. Or you want me to be who you want me to be. Then how can I be myself? I'm being someone that you want me to be. How am I being myself? And, that, and that's the thing. That's the thing. The Muslim YouTubers that you watch, they're being who they want you to be. Or they, they're being who you want them to be. Right? It's a lot of you and them. May Allah guide us. And allow us not to use these things as entertainment. Let's help each other out. Let's be genuine and sincere. Let's be... You want to know what's insincere? You want to know what's insincere? Let's talk about what's insincere. Let's just open up a little bit about insincere. What's insincere is that I'm trying to contact Fusi so I can help him out. Because he needs it. I can tell. And the reason I say that, guys, is because, not because clout. Yo, this dude is doing the same shit that I was doing. And I'm sorry for cursing. I cursed twice now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just the S word, you know? In India, it's not, shit's not even like a bad word. So, I'm Pakistani. It's close enough to India. We used to be India. We were once in Can you believe that? Bengalis, Pakistanis, we were all Indian. Can you believe that? We were all Indian. But our own governments, they, they knew. The British came in and they remotely controlled us. What did they do? They installed their own monafics who looked like us. Muslims like us. Indian Hindus like us. Brown like us. But it was all the Muslims, uh, the, the British controlling them. Making them run their messages. Dividing our nations and countries. Do you know the Sikhs and the Muslims were like this at once upon a time? Sikhs are designated to protect their area, their environment. Their turbans represents a warrior's helmet. It's a, they're warriors. They have a rich culture. We admire the Japanese, this and that. Sikhs are someone to admire. Their culture is very rich. MashaAllah. We could talk about the, uh, the guru stuff later. We could talk about that later. But it's, it's okay to appreciate what people have. Because those are all Islamic values. And there's a lot of links to Sikhism and Islam. We could talk about that later. 13 minutes. 13 minutes went from 9. How did that happen, guys? How did that happen? I was just saying that it was 9 minutes. And now it's approaching 13. Have I brought you any value? Have you clicked out of this? Maybe you clicked out of it. I'm just going on a rant. Well, I wanted to pick Fusi because, because I felt like we, we could vibe, you know? We're going through the same problems. I got out of them. I could show him how he could get out of them. If he wants to get out of them. Sometimes we think we want to get out of things, but we don't. We're not ready to leave. We're not ready to leave the Jahiliya. We're not ready to leave the Haram. We still want to play with it a little bit more. You know, and we're all recovering sinners. This is something I've been working on. We're recovering sinners. People who had a Jahiliya and they left that to come to Islam. We're recovering addicts. We're recovering sinners. You know how easy it is to go back down that lane? Because I know how to do it. You know, you know how easy it is for me to order a drink because I already know how to do it. You know how easy it is because I know how to... There's certain things I can do better than the average person. I can restart them because I know how to do it already. I have the blueprint. And I also have the blueprint of success and failure. And I'm trying to lay it out so that you can see both. I'm trying to show you my flaws. Why did I say that about the insecurity, right? About sincerity. I've been trying to reach him because I believe that I can help him. I believe that I can, I can genuinely help him. Not for clout, not for nothing like that. But a brother hit me up saying that he's still struggling with pornography. And I didn't put the same effort that I put in for Fusi that I was going to put for him. If that makes sense. Right? I didn't put the same amount of 
effort that I would have put with Fusi that, that I would have put with that brother. Why? That's not sincere. That's not sincere. If Fusi would have given me his number, I would have been on the phone with him, talking to him, helping him out. This brother hits me up about his pornography problem. I refer him to someone else. May Allah increase you. May Allah bless you. And may Allah forgive you. And may Allah make it easy for you. And may Allah provide for you and remove these addictions for you. I mean. And this goes to anyone. Anyone who's struggling. Anyone's hurting right now. May Allah make it easy for you. We've come a long way. Ten years. It's my ten year anniversary. Don't this feel good? I feel fantastic. I hope you guys are feeling great too. Hope you're enjoying listening to the the sound of the rain. Who am I, bro? I'm a nobody. Do you know what it's like to know that you can help people on a bigger scale, but you just don't have that opportunity? Do you know what it's like to know that you know you could do more if you ha- if you could if you could you could give more if you had more? But the truth is, the truth is, I'm not giving. I'm selective about my giving. I read your message, turn it away. I'm under an awning. You're like, SQ, how is this? <laughs> how are you able to even? Let me just show you. Let me, let me break. Okay, enough of the emotions. I'm under an awning right now. I've moved. If you haven't told already, I've moved. So there's a new setting. Some of you are like, SQ, give, give a, a house tour. Honestly, I want to, but I don't want to feel like I'm flexing on anyone. That's why I won't. I don't know if how if I do, it's going to be completely different. Ah, oh, guys, I'm a I'm a work in progress, and you guys are works in progress too. We're under construction. It's like there should be a sign that we wear just says under construction. You're not a perfect Muslim right now. You're just not, and you're never gonna be one. You just gotta keep striving. And keep working and keep getting better and better and better and better. Be better today than you were yesterday. Just keep getting better and better and better and better. There's no such thing called a Monday, a Sunday, a New Year. There's a Jummah. There's an Eid. There's a Ramadan. There's a Dhul Hijjah. Those are real months. Do you know what day of the lunar calendar we're on right now? We're approaching... The midway month, uh, midway mark of the the thing of the Islamic month, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 
It's the 16th. So we're past it. I know, I, subhanAllah, I know this because of the hijama, because I gotta know the schedule of hijama, so I'm, I'm pretty in tune with them. May Allah forgive us. May Allah forgive us. I didn't want to see because I'm better. I, you know what I mean? I didn't want that. I didn't want you to feel that way. These things don't exist. New Year's, there's no such thing. Look at this. One of the signs of the Day of Judgment is that time will fly. Time will go by quicker. Look at this. It's approaching 20 minutes. I was just at 9. How did I get here? Some of you probably clicked out. It's okay. It's okay. Sometimes you got to click out. I get it. I get it. I've clicked out many times before. I'm surprised you clicked in the first place, to be honest with you. But, you know, that's a different story. That's cute. What happened? I'm not even... You're not even talking about the, the, the thing anymore. Oh, that's cute. You go down this... Oh... Your videos become too long. Oh. I just want to do me. And I want you to do you. So long it's in accordance to the Quran Sunnah. I want you to do you. I want you to be yourself. I want you to find yourself. And I promise you, I was trying to find myself before. But I was getting lost. Even the more I went to try to find myself down the wrong ways, the wrong paths, drugs, alcohol, women, the more I went down that path, the, the, the more lost I became. Because if I wanted to truly find who I was, then it starts by reading the book of Allah. Facts or not? Ar-Rahman. Here's the first name. Of the new year, huh? Let's start it off. Ar-Rahman. Ar-Rahman. What does that mean? Here's the first of the 99 Asma al that we're going to be talking about in our videos. Right? We wanted to start it. Let's start it right now. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Not Rahim. Ar-Rahman. That's the first one we want to talk about. Often confused with Ar-Rahim, right? Ar-Rahman is Allah's mercy encompassing everything. Everything. That's Ar-Rahman. Allah is so merciful that people are, are, are not even conscious of Him. They don't even know about Him. Some people don't even believe in Him. Some people are worshipping something else besides Him. But Ar-Rahman is the reason they're able to still survive and be okay. He's not going to smite you like those Greek gods. Oh, they're not praying to me. Smite them. Curse them. No. He's Ar-Rahman. The world is still turning. There's a day of judgment. He knows there's a day of judgment. It's all going to come. This is all playing out. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is letting you play it out. Play it out. He knows the results already, but you don't. That's where free will is really, really important because we don't know the results. So we're making the choice to do good. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that we were going to make that choice. But the choice isn't finished until our last breath. Don't think for a second that you're on the pious. That, you know, the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to make dua asking Allah's protection from kufr. Can you believe that? The messenger of God is asking Allah, seeking refuge and Allah protection from kufr. And we are not. We think that we're protected. We're the rightly guided. Huh? Even the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa was seeking dua for that. Allahu Akbar. Even in the adhkar, it talks about that. Reminding us, priming us. I need to get back on my adhkar. Let's make some New Year's resolutions, huh? Let's go. Let's make some New Year's resolutions, okay? Adhkar. Adhkar check. Yes? We do adhkar together? Yes? Okay, Bismillah ar rahim Let's do it. Let's do it together, inshallah. Instagram live adhkar? Daily? Fajr? Asr? Yes? Daily? Okay, Bismillah. Let's do it. Yes. Yes. Bismillah. Let's do it. Simple as that. Let's do it. It's simple. Don't overthink it. Commit and do it. Just commit and do it. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. That's the that's that's how the shaitan gets you. Don't overthink it. Say you're gonna do it. Pray to Allah you're gonna do it. Do it. Put your best foot forward. Put a good intention in. Is there a good intention about us doing ithkar together? MashaAllah. Come, let's do ithkar together. I don't get on live anymore. I just don't. I don't. Because I'm just like, why you wanna watch me? You know what I mean? Let's do it together. Let's do it together, inshallah. Inshallah, let's do it together. Let's do it together, inshallah. Ar-Rahman. That's who Ar-Rahman is. MashaAllah. Right? 
How, how can you? The, you see, we know of the narration, and t- type it in the comment section below, of if you memorize the Asma al Hasna, you get paradise, correct? But that's one fold. Memorizing is one fold. Knowing its meaning and applying is what unlocks the door. It unlocks the door. Okay. Ar Rahman. So that's what it means. It means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful. But it doesn't just apply to like those who believe. His mercy is what allows us all to go down. All of it is His mercy. Okay, I hope this makes sense. Okay. Okay, that's Ar Rahman. How do we apply this name? So we know the name, we, we know what it means, we know the name of the name, right? We know what it means. And now, how do we apply this name? By us showing mercy to everything. And everyone show mercy towards them. Show mercy towards them. What, what happened? What did the prostitute do? She showed mercy towards the, the the was it the dog? Yes, it was the dog. And she showed mercy. She showed mercy. Have mercy on people. Have mercy on your neighbors. Have mercy on them. Be kind to them. Stop yelling around and thinking the kufar, the kufar. Have mercy on them. Have mercy on them. It wouldn't make someone feel nice to hear that. Now imagine they heard that you spoke about them that way. Wallahi. Have mercy on them. Talk to them with kindness, with the kindest of speeches. Talk to them. Talk to them with, with goodness, with khayr, with nice, with gentleness. May Allah increase you guys. That's our Rahman. Okay. That whole picture, it's a cry for help. It's a cry for help. Everything about it is a cry for help. I was trying to be happy. Drinking rosé, thinking I was a somebody. I used to sleep on a futon in, in the one bedroom that we were in. We were homeless on some amount of time. But I'm trying to look like I'm not. I'm trying to look like, you know, I got it. I was embarrassed of my financial situation. So much that I had to wear my, my money. I had to wear it. I had to show you what I was. Show you what it is. Maybe I don't do that now. I just said uh, I just I just wear whatever I want to wear. I right? been yeah. The real ones out there be like, "Excuse me, we're in the city for like seven straight days." I have. I, I'm not. I'm still in those sun shorts. Uh, suns, let's go. Suns. I think the suns are playing tonight, New Year's Eve. I think so. Maybe. Mashallah. May Allah increase us. It's not about setting New Year's resolutions. It's about knowing that hey, Ramadan is four months away. Let me make some commitments to myself starting now. So this could be the best Ramadan ever. Let's make this the best Ramadan of our. Huh? Let's do this together. Let's do this together. We're not alone. You don't have to do this alone. I don't have to do this alone. We could do this together. We could do this together. Let's do it together. Because only people who really love you and care about you watch this to 28 minutes. Oh, man. Maybe I'll sh- save the story for another time. <sighs> Maybe I'll save it for another time. May Allah forgive us, bless us, guide us, protect us, have mercy on us. And now let's use this name, Ar-Rahman, in our, in our du'as today, in our salah, in sujood. Let's use Ar-Rahman today. Now that you know what it means, let's use it. Say inshallah at least. Okay. I love you guys so much. I love you so much. I want, it. I want, I want that love to show on the Day of Judgment. You're not, you're not going to know how much I love you here. You can to see how much I love you on the day of judgment. That's the real sign. That's the real sign. Yeah. Yeah. That's the real sign. I'm going to hold my tongue. I'm going to hold my tongue. I love you guys. I'm going to show you how much I really love you guys on the day of judgment. That's what I'm holding it for. May Allah keep us sincere. May Allah make us sincere. May Allah allow us to... You know, not get caught up in New Year's and this and that. And just realize that our main purpose and maqsad is to worship Allah. 
I need to put out those Pakistan vlogs. How about that? How about in 2021, I just start putting out all my old content, the content that I felt so insecure to put out, to start putting it out. See what happens. Put it out. <laughs> Make it fun. <laughs> my Pakistan vlogs were dope though, I think so. But I just, I just didn't put them out. I was insecure, I still am. Let's remove insecurities. Let's do that. I think my tape is about to finish. <laughs> my tape. Uh, we will like you guys. Bless you guys. And thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm not going to offer you an Amazon gift card. But I will say this. Remember, this whole video was a dua. And I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts all of our duas and our efforts. And keeps us sincere. And keeps our intentions pure as well. Uh, I really, really love you for the sake of Allah. Wassalamu alaikum. Love you all.